Hey guys, I'm Kyle with Rhino. This video is about Rhino power adapters, what they are and how you can use them. So we all know how atrocious the battery life is on cameras like the Sony A7S or the Blackmagic Pocket 4K camera that uses the LPE6 Canon batteries. And there's great solutions on the market for those. You can use an external battery like a V-mount or a battery grip. We tried to solve the problem specifically when you're using a camera that uses a lot of power when you're shooting time lapses or interviews, which is mainly what you use a slider for. So what we did is we built in a giant battery pack into Arc 2. I personally hate charging things, so all the products that we create have great battery life. But we added so much battery power that we can actually tap into that and run your camera off it using an accessory called the Rhino Power Adapter. Let me show you how it works. I'm just gonna take my camera off. I don't have a battery in here right now. Typically, whenever we're putting our camera on a slider for an interview or for a time lapse, we'll run it off of one of these. It's really nice when you're doing long extended shoots like we're doing here, so you don't have to change out batteries all the time. So the adapter has a longer cord so that if you want to, you don't have to power just your camera, you could power your monitor. So if you have a small HD that has an LPE6, battery panel on it, you can use that to power your monitor as well. Let's mount this back up. This cable connects into the far right port and our camera's turned on, we're ready to shoot. The great thing about this is you only have to worry about charging one thing on the extended shoots and that's arc two. You take your charger, make sure that you have that plugged into ARC2 so you don't have to worry about that draining because when you do have four axes going and you're powering your camera, you're only gonna get three to four hours of battery life out of your actual unit. I also do this not just for interviews but for time lapses as well. Typically with a battery grip, I can only get a four to five hour time lapse on an A7 type camera. And so I have to use a USB pack on my A7S II in order to power it from USB but that's just an extra pain. So I hope this is informative. Check out our website to see which power adapters are compatible with your camera. We have a lot of models available. If you have any questions, please reach out to support at rhinocg.com.